like the last whatever since we saw you. I don't know any. It's not even been a day, I guess. Yeah. Honestly, I I was telling, I just got off a podcast or, or the interview with Andy Katz, and he was like hyping me up, and I was just honestly just doing what was right. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal, and obviously it took off these past 24 hours, which I think is pretty cool. Just to be able to pay tribute and everyone remember Chris Reed again. So obviously it was meant to be like this. So. Did you think it would take off like this on the national level? Like it has? I didn't think it would honestly, but obviously it kind of just shows the impact Chris Reed had honestly. And like I said, I was just doing what was right again. And, didn't think much of it when I was doing it, so I think it's pretty cool to have it take off like that. Did you know the governor of Ohio tweeted out something about you this morning? Really, did he? Yeah, I didn't even, I even, I couldn't even get on Twitter because I just, just had to stay off it for a little bit. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Have you gotten any text messages or things like that that surprised you, or what's the best one you got? Yeah, I think the best one was probably uh, from Coach Close. Obviously, you guys know uh, he was pretty close with Chris Street, and uh, he sent me a pretty pretty emotional and uh, awesome text message last night and I thought that was pretty cool. Obviously my family is pretty close with him because he recruited Jason in Wisconsin. And, um, I thought that was probably the, one of the coolest messages I've gotten just because everything that's happened this, this year and him be able to reach out like that and the impact he had on Chris's life, the impact Chris had on his life and how close we are with him. So that was pretty sweet. Got to move on now. And uh, obviously, the task is as obvious. Well, one five in five days. What's, what's the approach? I mean, you just go in there and uh, I mean, one, one at a time. Yeah, I, I mean, I texted the our group chat today. I'm like, I sent him a picture of the odds of us winning. I think someone, I, don't, I can't remember who tweeted it, but um, yeah, um, it was a, it was our odds from first game, second game, third game, fourth game, fifth game, and. Um, like you said, 100 to 1, and I'm like, just screw it. Just play out. We have no pressure on us. Why, why not? Why don't we just win five in a row? Who cares? Um, but obviously, the approach is to win one at a time, and um, I, think, I think we have a good shot at doing it. Because we, we show what we're capable of doing last night, um, and both ends of the floor, and that was big for us to be able to get some stops on defense, and um, we got going on offense as well. So we got some momentum going in Madison, Madison Square Garden, so that was huge for us. Garden. Yeah, obviously we were there for Big Ten Media Day, and me and Tyler were joking with each other. We, we were we were there for Big Ten Media Day. We didn't even get to see the gym, which is kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, it should be a fun time. Obviously, growing up, that's something you always wanted to play at is Madison Square Garden. So I think that's going to be pretty sweet to be able to be there and uh, be around New York City, such a great city, and um, so many. Uh, obviously, there's going to be some some fans there as well. So it's going to be some, pretty sweet to be there. Do you remember 